Hello everyone, this is Professor CC19 here with part 13 of Let's Play Earthbound. Back once again with... Pittsburgh Pat, number 13, Lucky Lucky. Lucky Lucky, we'll have to see if this episode is lucky. Um, <laughs> Can't I be worse than the department store. <laughs> that, well, I know already that, that we, have, we have one difficult enemy in our near future, and it remains to be seen how difficult um, things will go over. But in the meantime, okay. we've been the happy, peppy, but not so happy because they're really sponging us for money, town of Summers. Oh, that's right, because everything's really expensive here. We were warned about that. Yep, we were warned by this man here who has one of my favorite lines. The sky's blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high it'll make your face turn blue. That's ha! Summers. <laughs> that's Summers for you. Oh, do you mean equipment? Yes, yes, like something to shield him from taking so much damage. That is what I meant to talk about before we got in all these fights. If we go to equip, Ness has mm -hmm. armor. Well, not armor. He has his item slots. He has a bat for his weapon, and he has all the other items. Paula has a pan. She can use the ribbons, more specialized in that sense. Jeff has the gun, or the beam in this case. But Pooh does not have anything. And to, mm. save us, to save us the time of going into the store, Pooh cannot equip anything except for one item in each slot. And I mean specifically only one thing he can equip. And we can't buy it mm. in the stores. Oh, so they're like quest items or things we discover along the way. Kind of. Um, three of them. Three of them we can get from item boxes, I believe. The fourth, okay. one, the fourth one is his weapon, and it is the most famous, or one of the most famous items in the game, because we can only attain his weapon by a 1 in 128 item drop. Oh my goodness, that's the, that's the most difficult statistic, right? Is that it most is. difficult odds? So at wow. one point in the game... I'm not going to spoil it, but at some area of the game, we will encounter the enemy that can drop it. And when we do, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Story progress. We got Pooh last time, and he had a specific item in his inventory called the Tiny Ruby, which is an old treasure from DeLong. Uh -huh. and is also a jewel and the guy in the back room of the museum said he'll let us in if we give him a jewel there are coffins that are moving oh my and a stele or the rosetta stone a shattered man the shattered man i like this background it reminds me of like a beehive if it was diamonds instead of hex hexagons <sighs> um this guy's kind of tough i don't think he's that bad um there are only two of them in the game and they're the two in this room in this coffin so gotcha actually there might be more later I'm, I, there's a couple variations of him we'll have to see uh we'll do freeze beta i guess jeff you can spy and poo uh now that we have him in battle we can talk about his new battle command which is mirror oh that's a new one yeah it's interesting um we'll see if it works and if it works then i'll explain it hmm. there's 244 Grundy's weak to freeze offense defense vulnerable to paralysis Okay, Pooh could not turn into the Shattered Man, it says. Ah, uh, mirror. Mm -hmm. in, in one sense, that's a good thing. Um, but um, whatever enemy you use it on, Pooh, if successful, will go into auto battle, but will have the enemy you're facing is battle commands. So if the enemy knows PSI fire, Pooh will do fire. If it knows paralysis, Pooh will do paralysis. That kind of thing. Perfect. Uh, it doesn't work that often. <laughs> One in 128 chance, maybe? Not that bad, but uh, I'd say maybe like a... Maybe like 20% of the time it works. It really depends on the enemy that you're doing it on, too. Gotcha. 
But uh, also, Pooh has PSI. He's psychic like Paula, and he comes built in already with Freeze, Alpha, and Beta, and Thunder, Alpha, and Beta. Well, he did all that training. Uh, yep, in training the... in Delon. Mm -hmm. Moo yeah, training, Delon. they called it. Yeah. And he also has life up and healing like Ness. So he's like a combination mm -hmm. of Ness and Paula. 388. Beautiful. Wow. That's a lot. 262 damage from the Mummy Wrap. It's a good item. It does serious damage. And um, it, I think there's a chance of the body solidifying for the enemy. But as you can see there, it, that was one turn of battle because of the damage there. Look at all that experience, too. Paula. Remember, Paula's behind us because she was kidnapped by Monotoli. So we're giving, mm -hmm. getting her up to pace. Same with Pooh. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience yeah, we just to... got attacked by some members of it. <laughs> we got attacked by history. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you thought school was hard. Those dates are going to come out and smack you in the face in the form of a coffin. And then you're going to get blinded by science. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's being it's better than being blown away by Jeff's bottle rockets, but yeah, you know. <laughs> the experience is more valuable than a small gym, ha ha ha. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. I wonder who that was. It was Pokey who stole the helicopter mm -hmm. from Monotoli. Mm-hmm. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots He's of money from him. <laughs> this guy's all about the money. Yeah, he really is. So this is hieroglyphs. Mm -hmm. If we read the sign, Pooh read the hieroglyphs. I'm assuming we had to have Pooh to get in here, A, because of the gym, and also because it says this, I'm assuming he's the only one that can translate it. Uh, right. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scarabah. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Blank for three, two, five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. <laughs> well, that was cryptic. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Ness, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Remember, Montoli said Gygus said he didn't want us to find out about Scaraba or the pyramid. Mm. All of the places <laughs> that we are aware of right now are basically the entire linear storyline to the end of the game. Because we have um, teleport now, it's not entirely linear because we can go back to where we were before. But um, basically we're on a different continent and we're starting from scratch. So we went from Onet to Tucson to 3 to 4 side. Here, we are going from Summers and Toto to Scaraba to Deep Darkness to the Lost Underworld, which were all the places mentioned on that hieroglyph. Oh. Use it in your human civilization class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um... Wait, what other kind of civilization was there? <laughs> oh, other than human? Right? Well, there's alien. Yeah, we right? are fighting off aliens. Uh, that's true, but do they have a class on that yet? That's funny. Um, the lady's gone, oh. and it seems that the phone is ringing. Might want to answer that. It's not our place of business, though, should we? Mm -hmm. it, might be dad. it might be Dad calling. He, he knows where to find us sometime. <laughs> he always knows. He does. Hello? Is this... <laughs> I forgot this was a thing. Is this Mr. Fork of the Scarabacultural Cultural Museum? Uh -huh. We have Mr. Fork and Mr. Spoon. Yep. Uh -huh. 
Is this Mr. Fork of the Scarab Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Foreside Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. And he hangs up. <laughs> okay. So, I'll leave this up to you. Last time I said um, we could go on to the Milky Way Cave, or we could Milky Well Cave, or go on to Foresight. And I'm, I'm leaving this decision to you now again. Do you want to go back to Foresight to find out what Mr. Spoon was talking about on that phone call? Or do you want to go on to Scaraba with the Pyramid as our next goal? It doesn't matter either one of them we can do right now. Yeah, well, I mean, the player in me wants to see the new location, Scaraba. But if I were trying to do this logically i'd want to go back and get more information before i go to scaraba so hmm let's 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 roll a die i have i have my dungeons and dragons dice here let's roll <laughs> it's right, one through five do. we go back to four side and it's a one so we're going back to four side all right fair enough you're very young but you brought something very precious back to the people in this town thank you I love that line. I completely forgot about it, but it, it he's the one person who sounds like he's really grateful. I'm glad to have the town um, back to a more civil and less um, ominous presence. Hmm. Like he really makes you feel like you did something good for everybody. There's a new singer named Venus at the top of the theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. On an eraser. Oh. oh, you can get her autograph on anything. Don't worry about the eraser. <laughs> I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. <laughs> um, okay, then. He, he's a little desperate. Okay, don't forget, life is money. I've lived that life. You can buy everything but love, friendship, and experience points. <laughs> <laughs> what is it That's with people cute. being obsessed with money in this episode? Yeah, they're really they really are. Good thing we have a lot of it in this game. We do. Oh baby, baby, baby. Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys <laughs> are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me, sing to me, only baby Venus. Just sing and I can die a happy man. Baby, I want to hold you tight. Venus, baby. Oh, oh, oh Venus. Oh. <laughs> That's an adoring fan right there. They went so over the top with the line, intro, uh, the intro for her performance, and I love it. Uh -huh. Um. I don't have the game audio on for you to be able to hear the song. However, I love Venus's performance more than the Runaway Fives, which is controversial because everyone loves the Runaway Fives. Hers is much more jazzy, and I actually cool. have it highlighted on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link in the description below if you want to hear just the song for Venus's performance right here and now. Cool. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. I, lo I love it. Do I it on something she... impermanent so you I can't hope... sell it on eBay. I hope she didn't use a black marker. <laughs> uh huh. And you'd think it was rotten. Oh, this is a bonus. Smack. She smacked us with a banana. No, it's supposed to be a kiss. Oh. Uh, I like to think that she kissed us instead of smacking us in the face. I think I think that Mr. Spoon would have enjoyed that more than we did. But that's, you know, that's cool. We can't pass on the kiss, or at least we really shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Anywho. 
It was like, when I wear my rose colored glasses, all the red flags are just flags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the red, fl oh, like the warning signs. I get it. In the next room, there is a light shining from far, far below the manhole. I told you the manhole covers would come up at some point. Yeah, you did. There, uh, there, I found a huge monster rat. Uh, I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go in there and check it out for yourself. And that's when he moves to let us go through the door. Go kill the rat for me. <laughs> hmm, places with lights shining. It sounds like that might be a sanctuary location, just like with the yeah. tree sprout. There's King Rat down there. Well, I see mice already. Maybe it's an exit mouse. Nope, they're rowdy mice. <laughs> and rough. I also remember you saying last time we haven't walked through water at any point. Well, well I guess we get our chance now. Not that it we want to, to. It has to be in the sewers, of all things. Of course. We go to the left... There's a trash can. There's a... Or salt inside. Nah, I think I'll pass. <laughs> For the first <laughs> time, you're passing on a yeah. croissant. Started a continuous attack. He's able to hit multiple times in one turn. Notice he hit Ness twice there. Huh. There's only a few enemies in the entire game that can do that. One of them being the cranky lady. She can continuous attack us with her shopping bag. <laughs> well, in the sitcoms, the old sitcoms, like the old, the cranky lady usually does like hit people with her purse or her bag mm -hmm. multiple times quickly. So that makes sense. I'm just imagining this blue in the face, heavy set woman, hand stuffed with shopping bags, whipping her arms in a circle like a windmill, just going, you, 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 get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's the good ultimate, the ultimate karen um these are stinky ghosts <laughs> yeah in the sewers um as opposed to the smelly ghosts from back in three they're a little bit stronger they have a one in 64 item drop to drop a large pizza which we can otherwise only order at the uh mock pizza as we call them Oh, by the way, the enemies can spawn in the water also. Oh, goody. Oh, it's in the trash can. Oh, it's an enemy. I like how when you walk by, it peeks his eyes out and his feet are like, ooh, 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 I want to fight you. Yep. It reminds me of, like, Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. That's what I would picture him as if he was, like, just comp written completely over the top. Exactly what I thought. I thought Oscar immediately. His battle background is really weird. Yeah, it's pretty trippy. Like, there's... I looked up at one point of how exactly these battle backgrounds work, how they're programmed, um, and it's like there's four different options and then color palettes that go on top of them of how the plates kind of move against each other or compared to each other, and based uh -huh. on how they interact is what forms these various patterns. So this one must be like the most contrary opposite thing is swished together because it is it's doing everything. Yeah, and uh, I think green and that that particular shade of green and whatever you want to call that purplish pink color. Yeah, red, purple, green. Those are um, yeah, they're kind of opposite end of at the least for my colors. yeah at least for my eyesight they definitely form like an optical effect yeah. there's mice there's three of them mm -hmm. these excuse me i did not see four wow well one for um, each of us they're the deadly mice deadly i think this is a time that i would like to use well, actually, no, I want to save Ness's PP. I think we're going to use Fire Beta with Paula. Jeff, shoot, and then Pooh can use Thunder because there's so many enemies, it's very likely to hit. Mm. These enemies are poisonous, by the way. They can bite and poison us. 
Hence them being deadly. Oh dear. Oh, and they have high guts and do smash attacks like that. Broken Bazooka. That's huge. That's I can why I didn't, already tell. That's why I didn't want you to get the spoiler for that. We are going to immediately Okay, yeah, I didn't that. see that. We're immediately putting that in Jeff's inventory. I don't think he can fix it yet. So we'll look to get his IQ up as well. Hmm. He has what? Broken machine, broken bazooka, still yet to fix. Um... We have a bottle of regular water somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, bottle of water. Ness. Okay, so it heals 1 PP for Ness and Paula. It'll heal 10 PP for Pooh. I think that's how it's programmed. Oh, continuous attack. Oh, duh. Oh, no, 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 Paula. Uh-oh. Poor Paula. Please, Pooh, do enough damage. 358, yes, just barely. Paul is alive. We need her for the boss fight. Ooh, Pooh just got seven offense and defense. Take it from me, if you dare. This thing is hideous. Huh. Oh my, it sure is. Its back is rotting off, and you can see part of its spine. Ay-yay-yay-yay-yay. <laughs> okay, this is the Plague Rat of Doom. And me realizing this is three consecutive episodes that we're fighting the Sanctuary boss. Cool! Plague Rat of Doom. I'm assuming it's... Um, spreading disease faster than um, anything should considering its look however it is one of my favorite sanctuary bosses because of the trick which i will tell you about right now he is one of the few bosses to be susceptible to psychic attacks specifically oh. ness's ability to use where is it flash ness's ability to use flash beta it costs us 16 PP. So 16, 32, 64. So we have seven attempts at this. If we get it to go off correctly, and it's a one in eight chance, it will insta-kill the boss. So this is one of the only oh. chances where we can insta-kill against a boss. Wow. So, um... We'll see if we can get it. One in seven attempts, because it's a one in eight chance. Ooh. Oh no. Heaven rending sound. We are all feeling strange. Jeff just mm. killed Paula. Oh yep. no. Whoa. And Not that. Good. Oh no. You're a bit unusual. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, Jeff has um Jeff has one HP left. Why is he not feeling strange though? Mm -hmm. Well we are feeling Jeff, strange now. So that's an Jeff, issue. Jeff, why aren't you feeling strange? I think this is might be the time where I abandon my search to get an insta-kill because I'm somewhat likely to kill Pooh now because he doesn't resist Flash. Mm. So I think we can just um Try and end the fight normally. I don't have any PP to do anything, so Pooh is better no. off. Come on, hungry HP sucker. Still not working. Well, there goes Jeff. Alright, butt mash time. And everything in his inventory, right? Because can't access that. Well, button mashing worked pretty well. Ness just got a smash for 371. There we go. Perfect. Perfect timing. All right. He became tame. And this is also very good for Pooh, because since Paula and Jeff are dead, the experience gets split only between Ness and Pooh, so Pooh gets a lot oh, of Oh, golly. Lives. Wow. Ness gets Let's... two just from that. Let's watch. 
Who level 30? Who level 31? Offense by three. Who level 32? Offense by four. Defense by three. Vitality, 10 HP. Nice. Fantastic. All right. Well, we couldn't get the um, insta kill, but we did survive. And we will bring them back to life because this is the sanctuary. Oh, yes. I remember we were looking over the wall at it, weren't we? Yes, we were. And you said we'd go up through, this, uh, through underground, and that we did. Mm -hmm. Now, these things on the ground, they look like pieces of bacon. I think they're like pieces of wood or stone, but they look like bacon to me. <laughs> this Diagonals are hard to draw when you have this uh, low of resolution. The chest has a carrot key inside. Hmm. Family feud. Carrot. Question. Name something you associate with carrots. Uh, rabbits. Where have we seen rabbits recently? Uh, I don't know. In rabbits. Dalam. Where have we seen them? Where? In Dalam. Remember the one path Dalam. was blocked by statues of rabbits. Oh, statues of rabbits. Yeah, you're right. What I was going to say is, if you walk around carefully, you can actually get to this key without triggering the sanctuary spot. So you could just skip over this and come back. You're not supposed to, but it's possible. Huh. Here's a little... Oh, they're afraid of us now. You scaredy roach. What do you have to say? Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Aww. Well... Yep. He goes back yeah, to being a scholar life. can be a lonely life. True. You can understand a lot about people of time past, but not be good with people around you, and it can make you lonely. Mm -hmm. Well, you just spend a lot of time on your oh. own researching. Research isn't done usually. Oh, we get a photo opportunity. Wasn't I was going to say, research isn't uh, alone if you're in a movie and you're Indiana Jones. Right. I was watching. Yeah, I'm about halfway through the latest one, and I've been trying to watch it for a month. So that gives you an idea of how <laughs> action packed it is. You know, it's I'm just not. Huge, not I, I'm not a huge fan of Indiana Jones, mainly because they went over the top with kind of the scariness in some of them. I like the first one and the third one. The they were more adventures than horror. The mm -hmm. second one was going for the shock value of the monsters and things and and i think uh and i i don't remember the fourth one was just strange i think the fourth one was kingdom of the crystal skull yes i, I only watched, watched it once and the only one i have twice. seen and the only one i've seen in its entirety is him and sean connery looking for the holy grail no uh, maybe the 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 chalice that Christ Jesus drank from. Yeah, that's okay, the yeah. Holy Grail. Of which I liked so they, that one. I was fine with that. One. Yeah, that's a great one. There's a lot of comedy in that. Uh, I think they cast it perfectly. Sean Connery just is so good as. There were so many chases can... in that one. Like it was chase after chase. After oh chase. There was a, man! It was a big hovercraft or boat chase or something like that. Was cool. It was a boat. Right. It was. It was just a. Um, it was. It left you breathless, you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, uh, Mr. Montoli has lost quite a bit of his resources, and that's all he says. Oh, he actually, doesn't say whether he's good or bad. He just I want to stay in the hotel. The fact. I want to stay in the hotel. See if we have a new line from the the paper Belham. boy. Yeah, and we have plenty of cash anyway. Even more from fighting those enemies. But yeah, I liked that movie the best. I saw, like, the last quarter, I think, of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and had a guy getting eaten by a swarm of ants and, like, an alien and a guy, super, his greed killed him because he wouldn't climb up the rope to safety because he was too heavy from all the gold he was carrying. So it was just weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they Good rehashed thing. a couple things from Good lesson, the other though. movies. Yeah, well, that's... That happened in the third movie, right? That happened with the one that you like. Um, 
where the guy uh, wouldn't let go oh, of the yeah. cup, or she wouldn't let go of the cup. And yeah. she fell. Yeah. But, and then, um, yeah. The uh, lesson to all the people in Earthbound today, the guy at the museum, the lady at the theater, greed gets you killed. <laughs> Not in Good this morning. game, though. No, thankfully. Thankfully. Forside Post says, Yoikes! I made a mistake and called, uh, and, oh, yoikes, I made a mistake and brought a newspaper called Foresight Star. Let me read uh -huh. this anyway. Lucky of the Runaway Five, found to have been in State House of Representatives. That's got to be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just found him there, or was he elected? I mean, he just showed up on a tour, or? I'm okay. assuming it's supposed to be he's elected, but it's because he bought he bought a newspaper that wasn't trustworthy, which is, um, you know, it could be any number of them nowadays. That's ambiguous uh, reporting, though, like not specifying whether or not he was elected. That's funny. There were certain items in this store that we couldn't buy with Jeff. Now coming back. We can get some of them. T-Rex bat, right. non-stick fry pan, coin of silence, um, coin of silence. Paula. Plus five. Not bad. Sell it for a thousand. This is a better option as opposed to the ridiculously overpriced stuff from Summers. Yes. Sometimes winters can be just a bit more practical. Plus 10 offense. If we were to proceed a little bit southward, do you remember when we first got to Summers, we got a headline in the newspaper that there were kidnappings happening in winters? I, oh yeah, that's right. I do remember that. Well, if we venture down just a little bit, I'm not going to go too far down because I don't actually want to fight. Uh-oh, too late. And because I did that, well... A little Some UFO. Scary oh no. The whirling robo. And the lesser moon. The, the lesser moon. Huh. Okay. I didn't want to fight these now, because spoilers, but um there are aliens in winters now. They are the ones responsible for the kidnappings. Um do you remember a long time ago, I told you there was a great deal of lore in this game about yeah. the aliens and strongholds? Well, Winters is the place where the aliens are coming back to and doing these kidnappings because Stonehenge was the alien stronghold. Ah. Hence a lot of conspiracy theories in real life that aliens built it. And that whole s story on the hieroglyph is from mm -hmm. ancient history about how the aliens invaded before and the pyramid was the humans stronghold in that battle hmm. so, so that's that's where a lot of this lore comes in interesting uh, now we have to deal with these guys whirling robo is no problem he is very similar to the spinning robo from peaceful rest valley he's not that bad the mook on the other hand <laughs> It's like the department. On the other hand, it's on. It's a stronger version of the department store spook, and as we know, we had some problems with him. Can Ness deal with this on his own? Jeff is diamond eyes. Oh boy. Mm. Ness, you better be able to deal with this on... Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ness gets all the experience. Oh, you can was... see why yeah. I didn't want to engage with anything. These guys are really um, tough, huh? We aren't supposed to fight them now. It's only... Um... Is that lady wearing like a costume or something? In the hood? That's the monkey. Oh, that's the monkey. I'm not... Um... Can we teleport out of here with just Ness, is the question. Two summers. Looks like it. Nice, we have just enough room. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, this is where we have to spend money to heal. 
uh, heal everyone. Well, yeah, what I was going to say is that's why we don't want to engage with enemies in Winters. It's kind of a programming glitch because we're not supposed to explore Winters yet. But we will come back yeah. later and fight the enemies if they just put the enemies in a little bit too early in the story uh, story triggers. Yeah. It's your dad. Here's 18 grand. <laughs> <laughs> if, only, if only that were true in real life. I guess if you're a trust fund child, that might be true. Mm, yeah. yeah. Jeff is the furthest away from a level up. Paula and Ness are getting close. All right. I deposited money back because this is going to be a tough fight. And we have two. We want to lose. Yeah, we have two all our Im money. Im important items in our inventory carrot key and a pair of dirty socks. As odd as that sounds. It does sound odd, I have to admit. Oh. We gotta hire somebody for a boat ride? <laughs> he landed in a boat. <laughs> he is a photographic genius. Also, I said fuzzy pickles the other day when my family was taking pictures. <laughs> fuzzy pickles. Oh yeah, we have a birthday coming up in the family, so we have to I'll have to remember that. It was at a birthday that I said it. Uh, to go to Scarabo, you need to go across the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. Can you guess what we're going to have to fight? Hi, Mr. Kraken. <laughs> Are you scared? Mm, interested, not scared. This guy over here. Notice his ship is the only one with a green flag as opposed to all mm. of the other ships that are just plain that that's what's supposed to stand out mm -hmm. and we can only go as far as over here nowhere else so he is the one we need to talk to Thank he's you. the only one crazy enough to go out there you made my wife wake up she quit talking about all that serious crap yeah let's work hard if you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost you your life and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So, do you want to sail to the, ski uh, the seas to Scaraba? 20 bucks per Well, person. I mean, after that sales pitch, who could resist? <laughs> I'll do it, yeah. Also, we have $1,001 left. We're reckless, baby! Bon voyage. <laughs> I hope that means that's, it's, that should be on a t-shirt. We're reckless, baby. <laughs> Probably is. What is it like that picture of the person getting arrested? Their shirt says, I make bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped a guy in a uh, um, sporting goods store, Dunham Sporting Goods one day. He had a shirt on that said, bad things happen in Philadelphia. Ooh. And I said, I have to take a picture of that shirt, and it's. Uh, I think I posted. I think I posted it. Your car yeah. gets stolen in Philadelphia. He was from Philly. He was very proud of his shirt. I'm somewhat I near Philly. I'm, well, not near, but somewhat near. I have a friend that moved down there, and uh, she says that um, she sees how dangerous it is at times. But um, she's she's more of a city person anyway, so she's still fine with it. Me. Uh, I was there once. It was fun. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I need to stop the boat. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I was out on the open ocean, so I feel seasick. The sailor feels seasick. Well, that's... See, it can happen to anybody. <clears throat> oh, man, what am I going to do? A sailor who gets seasick? <clears throat> so how come you guys are all all right? Mm -hmm. So that bald guy over there is referring to Pooh. Your buddy, right? He came from Dalam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. Aren't these aren't there times when you'd like to go back home? So you're not some mama's boy? Well, it wouldn't hurt to go back and visit once in a while. Good advice. I think we'll go to Onet at some point to see what's going on there. Visit our mom. But um yeah. Hopefully yeah, hopefully she has been taken over by aliens or something. <laughs> Uh, he is specifically referring to Pooh and Alam, 
encouraging you to go back there because... Hey, that's an awfully strange carrot. What kind of bunny would eat <laughs> that? He's telling you that's what you have to do. Uh -huh. And if we had done it beforehand, he wouldn't have given us this text. So that's why I did this first. Cool. I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away. <laughs> Looks little deserted islands here. No Kraken. But you know, it always comes like right at the end when you think you're in the clear and then danger mm -hmm. strikes it gets darker <laughs> here it comes mm. kraken blocked the way he is a very lemon lime kraken because that's his battle background interesting it's that's like, like you can see Venus this in a fly trap with fangs or something. You can see this background in a sprite commercial. Yeah, yeah, I could. Now, his name is Kraken. He isn't a Kraken. It's the monster called Kraken. Yeah. And you're right. It looks more like kind of a very weird plant-related kind of creature. But you can see fire coming off of his breath, so he uses PSI fire a lot. Okay. Maybe he's vulnerable to the cold. Freeze? Probably a solid Maybe. option. This thing is hard. Uh, mainly because it has fire, and it also has a strong physical attack called Summoning a Tornado, which will hit multiple party mm. members, I believe. Mm. This is the kind of enemy where I'm willing to go out all out. Smart Bomb! Love, Beta... Freeze, Gamma, Big Bottle Rocket, whoops. No Holds Barred. No Holds Barred. Who? If you could turn into this via mirror, that would be very helpful. Oh Let's my god, it. would that be interesting? Ooh, actually. Um, okay, I was going to say do a shield, but the Kraken actually has an attack that gets rid of all shields, too. Mirror it. You're not going to do much otherwise, anyway. 185. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But Paul uh, Pooh could not turn into a Kraken. 202. Tried Flash Beta. Uh oh. Paula got insta killed. Ooh. That's what we were trying. Ooh, 589. Nice. That's what we were trying to do to the Plague Rat. It, it just didn't work. Hmm. Okay, well, Paula... Oh, Pooh's dead, too. Great. Two down, and Jeff's got a condition. He's sad. What's he got? Like, homesickness? He's crying. Ness is the only one that can get homesickness. That poor guy. Well, um, there's no point in trying to, um, you know, heal Paula or Pooh, unless we have an item that can do that. Do we? Mm -hmm. Do we have a couple life noodles? No, we used that. No, we don't. But right. somebody had... Jeff had something that you were really saving up. You were, like, real excited about. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it was Paula. It. Probably. Yeah. I mean, hey, we can buy big bottle rockets. I think this is, this is kind of a desperate scenario, so we're going to use the other one. Sure. Generated Tornado, 197. And That's 196. not the worst. Uh, wow. Oh, okay. That's that. Got him. The no Nicely barred, done. The no holds barred really worked out well for us there. Good show. Unfortunately, Probably Paula good. and Pooh were the two that really needed H uh, XP. Yeah. yeah. That happens, though. It's always hard to... When you have a party... Or, when, you have, when you play games like this, there's always one or two party members that just... You can't, you know, you have difficulty keeping up with the rest. Well, I mean, we had... Be my we, experience. For most of Foresight, we played with just Ness and Jeff, so that's why. Right. Right. Exactly. Oh, man. I thought you guys were... Oh, I forgot to do the thing! What thing? That's why I got the dirty socks. 
it makes the enemy uh, waste their turn, but that's why I got them out of storage to use in this fight. But I forgot uh -oh. to. Oh, uh, no. I thought you oh, guys well. were just everyday... Oh, well. Fight him over again. You were just everyday <laughs> little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. I also helped in this battle. I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. Here, have some dirty socks to go with your slippers. Exactly. I, I would say use the dirty socks so he doesn't look, look like Look at such. the volcano before we go off screen. Ooh, nice. On the left. Isn't that a neat little smoke ring around it or a cloud ring, I guess? That is very I thought cool. that was that was Ooh, clever. The water's purple now. Uh, we had the desert in between three and four side. This is now more of a Middle Eastern -y desert uh, with a town in it. What is this guy doing? Sitting on a rope. It's a the Indian rope trick. I'm, I'm doing this as a hobby. Isn't it cool? I recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker. And now he's a dungeon man. We met him back in winters briefly. Huh. Would you like to meet him? Here. Alrighty, I'll give you the key so that you can enter him. Oh no, I don't have it. I must have lost huh. it somewhere. I'm sorry, I don't worry about small things. My keys? Ah, no worries. Those we things are worth... Key. Like car keys, house keys. Those are worth worrying about. Yeah, if you lose them, you're kind of out of luck for a little bit. Do you see those little black pixels in with the sand? Yeah. yeah. Well, I do. there's two of them. This time, it's not black sesame seeds. They're enemy. Sandfly. Oh, be careful where you walk. It's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Ew. Well, we did walk through a sewer, and I don't think we um, cleaned up afterwards. Hokey has been here, too, and he has left signs of it. Mm. Hokey's stink still hangs in the air. That's... You didn't... We really like meant not to like this guy, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, if you didn't like him more, the game is just really hammering home. He is terrible. This is a Hassan's horrible Hassan's shop. Dollar dollars, except... What is with the dollar dollars thing? I don't know. Maybe it's because this is supposed to be Asia, or they're clarifying US, that it's, US dollars, yeah. It's not other culture, or another currency. Snakes are so unpleasant, but so cute. What? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I don't know what I may be saying. I don't either, because that sounded really weird. Should I keep a snake at home? So Perhaps I should asp an expert. <laughs> mm. Mm. Here, I I'm suddenly the expert. I'm putting on my expert hat. No, you shouldn't. Or Highly others, recommend not doing that. Others would say, oh, hell no. <laughs> I bought a piggy nose. This will help out a large amount while I'm humbly searching for the magic truffle in the deep darkness. Those were PP recovery items. Very good ones, in fact. Poisonous snakes cost more. Why would a fine young man like you need one? Well, we may look fine, but we kick some asp. <laughs> We're stuck. There we go. This guy is fun to to read his text. Hiss. I'm Red Snake. Come on in. <laughs> Just a fire armpit hair fertilizer. Yes. What is it you want to buy? Oh. I'm hoping the mic caught all that. Snakes and vipers. We can buy them. And vials of serum, which is good because... When they bite us. <laughs> mm, or someone else, yeah. Well, we these are attacking items. We can use them to poison the enemy, which is cool. However, they're pretty expensive okay. for, for the mm. time being. Oh no, you dis... Disappoint me. Oh, I see a UFO outside of town. I see it. Hello there, welcome to my humble shop. How about some of our famous scarab delicacies? 
We carry a variety of things. What would you like? Bean croquette. Bean croquette is a very special item. Can you guess why? Uh, um, no. To my knowledge, it is the only healing item in the entire game to have the letter Q in it. Oh. Okay, I would have never got that. That's cool. <laughs> Bean croquette, molokaya soup, kebab. <laughs> Boiled egg, fresh egg, cup of coffee, bottle of water. I want to buy each of those first three items because they're fairly cheap and I want to read their descriptions. We'll give them to Pooh. Boiled, uh, broiled lamb's liver, etc. All s I like how they started to the de to describe it. Broiled lamb's liver, etc. etc. You know the liver and all the other parts that are unmentionable. We put You're on a skewer. Well, I'm assuming there's also the vegetables. You can put mushrooms, tomatoes, carrots. You can put onions. anything on a kebab. Onions, yeah. Here, but here. I learned in English class that you're if you're doing a list, you're only supposed to use the three dots ellipsis, or etc. After you've already listed like two or three things, you're not supposed to do it after that's, only one thing. That's the way I learned it. Yeah, that was exactly <laughs> what I learned. So it's like so the I game that's started. How... It started to describe it and then just gave up, like, <sighs> other stuff. Sometimes me... The writer than, was... The writer had to, had to go to bed or something. Sometimes me, other than me. lamb, is included. That's what someone told me. <laughs> the Tenda tribe used to live here. They, want the, they went to the back of the deep darkness as they were too innocent. I wonder if they're still alive. There's another reference to deep darkness. Uh, oh, gotcha. And I will say, every single area of this game has personality. It has its own art design. It has characters that, it are, worth, that are worth talking to, despite three being kind of spooky. Yeah, Conjur it's it's very it's very well thought out. Yeah. Towards the end of the game, it's clear that the writers were going for trying to make each area sound more ominous than the next. Hence, Deep mm. Darkness, the Lost Underworld. However, they're not as scary as they may seem, but um, they did get a nice spooky music track, or um, impending doom music track for Deep Darkness, which is one of my favorite things about it. That's a great title for a song. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a song called Impending Doom. <laughs> great Southern International Resort Hotel. Okay. Our rooms range in price from 60 to 400 a night. Right now, though, we have only our super deluxe suite available. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, do, we are very sorry that we do not have any of our less expensive rooms available at this time. If you walk over here, you can see this is what the rooms are. This is it. It's just, it's not even a room. It's just not even a door. However, the arms dealer does hang out here, so cool. And we actually get a chance to see those UFOs that we missed back in the Foresight Desert. Ooh! Ow! Uh-oh. Didn't expect that. Hmm. Time for button mashing. Nice. Pooh got revenge. And I think this would probably be a decent time to eat um, the kebab. We'll give it to Jeff. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, the best way to get this rare enemy to spawn is walking back and forth along this line. High class UFO. High class. This battle background <laughs> is interesting. It's cool, but interesting. It looks like two halves of something being split apart, like violently. It's it's weird. Oh. Um, these guys are very fast. UFOs, they have high speed. We're gonna try out Fire Gamma. That's a new one. It's a new effect. New on-screen graphics for you. We'll shoot them down in flames. Shoot them out of the sky. Fire to beams. <laughs> 69 damage. Okay. Fire, nice. 230. And fun. Okay, Thunder finally did something. 
smash 222. Okay, the other one's on like a couple health. Like I would be surprised if it had like 10 HP left. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I thought I clicked yes. I thought I I, I caused it to soft lock, but I didn't apparently. There it is, the red thing. That's the rear. That's the um other Let's get rear enemy. Let's get him. Why won't, Why is he running away from us? Because he will always remember the green one back in the other desert. Yeah. This is the master cl criminal worm. It always runs away from us. And if I can finesse it, we will get a chance to see it. Nicely no. done. I. Oh, I see the pyramid. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press uh. up. I pressed right. But it gave us 20,000 experience. A piece. Wow. And there's a pyramid. Maximum HP. Okay, so this this should take care of a lot. Who are you talking to? I want to talk to it, but it keeps disappearing. <laughs> Can we get another one to spawn, maybe? No. When will I learn to stop doing that? <laughs> okay, we'll end the episode here. Um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Next time on Earthbound... Why don't you tell us what we'll be doing? I think we're going to go to... Um, yeah, we're going to investigate the pyramid. Yes, that is correct. Um, things on our agenda. Pyramid. There are a few of them, so we have to take our time, look around, see which one it is. Uh, we have a carrot key, also. That's going to be for Delam. Yes, we need to reach the bunny rabbit statues. Yep, that is going to be another sanctuary location. We're going to go back to Omnet and visit um, our mom. Hey, mom. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Still having a fun time with you doing these episodes, despite things going off the rails from time to time. Yeah, this is a great Let's Play. Like, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. This is the most... The longest one I've ever done, so this is great. Yep, and I'd say we're over halfway through now. We're definitely over halfway through. Cool. This guy will not let us get around him. <laughs> the He's there? just like standing in the way. Great Southern Hotel. Oh, it meant 400 for all four of us. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we'll Still, say. it was the most that we've paid. So we paid three hundred the last one. It's very likely that they. It's very unlikely that they will come out. But you never know. Did he say the bed springs or something will come out? <laughs> no, I didn't hear that. But that's funny. Well, this will be your chance to save. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. See y'all next time. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>